I like pajama parties just as much as every other guy. But I need to drink to get me in the right mood. But I can't just drink out in the open. No, no, I will need me serif a tavern. In this video I will show you how to use Akushima, the pop mod and the vanilla game to create a tavern for your own village. To create the base of our building we will need 40 foundations. These must be placed in an 8x5 grid. I've chosen to use stone foundations to give the building a kind of medieval look. Next we will use some fence foundations. This will come in handy later. By using fence foundations you can place pillars on the corners of foundations. Fence foundations will even allow you to build pillars inside of the building on the edges of the foundations instead of in the middle of the foundation. By using pillars in the middle of the building it will look like they are carrying the weight of the roof. As you can see, the building skeleton has been built. The next step will be to place all the water pipes to make it possible to brew beer in the basement. You can use foundations to make sure you place the water pipes in a straight line. By using intersections you can expand the water pipe network to include all of the beer barrels. Before placing any of the barrels, it's a smart idea to place all the walls. This will make sure that you won't be placing beer barrels through the walls. I will only be using stone foundations in the basement. When you're done with all the walls, you can start placing the beer barrels. By adding some preserving bins, you can make sure you never run out of berries. As you can probably tell, I've been inspired by medieval monasteries and their wine cellars. Beer barrels need to have an irrigation network connected to the water. You can do this by placing an intake. Beer barrels use so much water that the water reservoir won't be enough. Always check if the irrigation network is really working. If this is the case, hooray! Otherwise, you will need to check the water pipes. Let's add a cozy little entrance and make sure that you can get up to the second floor. Now it's time to place the building's floor. This floor will also be the ceiling for the room below. I'm using Akushima's reinforced wooden ceilings. These look awesome and also fit the medieval vibe. Now it's time to add some walls, window frames and a door frame. I will keep using building parts added by the Akushima mod.
let's add the roof. By adding slope walls first, you can make sure that the slope ceilings will line up perfectly. The ceilings that I'm adding right now will be used to create a decorative clutter area for the tavern. Let's add some trapdoors and some ladders to make sure that you can reach the area. Before adding any clutter, let's put the essentials in first. Every tavern needs a bar. The storage box will be used as storage and to make sure no one enters the bar from the wrong side. Time to light the building on fire! The fire pit can warm up the building and make sure that everything is lit. If you sit on the bench you will feel the warmth emitted by the fire pit. Let's add some kegs and storage boxes. By adding the clutter to the edge of the ceiling you can make sure that it's visible from down below. This will make sure that everything looks really cozy. Every tavern needs tables and chairs for people to sit at. To make it look like the pub is actually in use, you can add kegs, pitchers, tankards and food bowls to the tables. By using different objects on each table, you can make it look like some guests prefer to drink and others prefer to eat. Let's get drunk together! Let's add a keg! Arr matey, now you're talking! Let's add some lighting to the building, standing torches outside and candles inside.
Let's add some cupboards just for fun. Now it's time to name our establishment. The drunk dodo will do just fine. By placing multiple canvases and using a paintbrush, you can create your very own sign. Now that our building is finished, let's take a look at it during the night time. Day time! Night time! Day time! Um, <clears throat> just so you know, I won't be repeating this anymore. You get it. Let's check out the building from every direction. Our server is running with the same mods, so if you want to check it out and build something yourself, you can find the link in the description.